Today we're in Key West, Florida. We're on Fitzpatrick Street in Key West. It's episode 31 of the vlog from uh, our trip down there in Labor Day weekend of 2020, kind of right at the height of the pandemic. This is a food tour, but it also kind of includes history of Key West, which is what we're doing here. We've stopped at this little sort of strip mall because uh, our, our guide wanted to kind of give us some of the history. And he actually takes us into a couple of the shops here in just a minute. One of them is a tobacco store that I was not allowed to record video in, but the other one you'll see here in a second is Kino Sandals. We supported for two decades. And in the early 1990s, Key West needed to boost its economy. To do so, we started bringing in our cruise ships. When we started bringing in our cruise ships, we started bringing in bigger businesses, such as our CVS stores, um, our $5 t-shirt shop that you guys are gonna walk by throughout this whole entire vacation. And those individuals, happen to have other individuals that were able to pay a higher rate of rent than what these families had been paying for two decades. So the landlords started kicking them out one by one by one. There's only been two businesses that have stood the test of time and have survived, and it happens to be Rodriguez Cigars and Kino Sandals. And these two businesses, I want to take them very quickly. Kino's what? Because Kino Sandals, Caddy okay. Corner. You see those big old sandals against that wall? Yes. All right, those are authentic Cuban sandals. Uh, Kino sandals are 100% leather and 100% rubber that are hand stitched in this factory. I just want to show them to you really quickly because I think they're amazing, but it's something great for you guys to check out. But I also want to take you into Rodriguez Cigars because Rodriguez Cigars is a product that consists of five different tobacco leaves and it's constructed from start to finish in this facility. Rodriguez Cigar has a cigar that the leaves come from Ecuador, Nicaragua and Dominican Republic. One of their leaves, believe it or not, comes from Connecticut. <laughs> Connecticut has one of the most popular tobacco leaves in all of the world. And they construct it right here by hand. I want to show you really quickly. If you guys are cigar lovers, it's one place where you would like to get cigars. If you have friends, this is definitely where you want to get it, but I want to show you how they build their product. Something like this one. Oh, no. We're going to back and uh, 